Hey everyone, this is Jen from Riding Through It, and Ryder's here today. Say hi. He wants to be in the video too. Huh. Yay! I like to be in videos! No? Alright. Um, today I'm going to be doing the controversial parenting tag. Um, before I get started, I just want to say that these are my, my personal views for myself, my children, my family. I do not think that everything I do, everyone should do, and I'm not going to say you're a bad mom if you do opposite of what I do. Um, and I hope that you guys will have the same respect for me and not say bad comments or anything about what I do. Um, I would love to hear your opinions though, but as long as they're not like, well my way is right and yours is wrong. So, that being said, we'll get started. Pro-life versus pro-choice. I am pro-choice. I think a woman has the right to her body. Um, me personally, I would not be able to have an abortion, especially after seeing the outcome of pregnancy. Um, my only issue with abortion is when people use it as birth control. I don't like it, but again, your choice. Whatever. Um, baby wearing. I did not know that baby wearing was a controversial parenting issue. Um, I do baby wear and I also use a stroller. I prefer baby wearing over a stroller, especially like at the mall or at stores or um, when we go on hikes and walks and stuff. I mean, walking around my neighborhood I'll use a stroller, but I just I prefer to baby wear. I have a Bajorn and I have a Moby Wrap. I prefer the Moby Wrap <laughs> over the Bajorn, but yeah. Circumcision. Um, First, I'm going to say circumcision, I think, is a very personal issue. I'm not going to tell you what we chose because um, I don't think Ryder will enjoy, when he's 16 years old, having everyone on the internet know what his penis looks like. Um, I personally really have no preference, circumcision or not. Um, I do somewhat agree that, you know, it's not your penis, it should be your son's choice. Um, but I let the final decision be up to Tyler. He made the decision whether we did it or not. And again, I'm not going to tell you what we did. Um, but that's really all I have to say on that. Adoption. I am 100% for adoption. I would love to eventually adopt someday. I don't know if I ever will. But I think it's great for children who do not have a home and a family. can get a home and a family. And for um, parents who cannot have children can have a family. Um, yeah, so surrogacy is not on everyone else's, but I added it to mine. Um, I am for surrogacy. I know people say that it, you're selling your womb and it's wrong and this and that, but um, I would love to be a surrogate mother someday. Um, Tyler is not really for it. He thinks it's weird. Um, he's a guy. But I am not going to do it if he does not like it because I know that it can tear apart relationships and marriages and stuff like that. So, if he's for it, I might eventually do it, and if not, I won't. Um, breastfeeding versus formula feeding. This is something that you will notice I'm going to talk about a lot in my blog, especially. I'm going to do a video about it, um, because I just hate how mothers are towards each other, especially on this subject. I was one... 103% for breastfeeding. I was going to breastfeed. I was reading books and online stuff and doing all my research and I was going to breastfeed. Um, but towards the end of my pregnancy, we started to really notice that my depression issues were coming back out and we discussed that I had a very high possibility for postpartum depression and that I really need to go back on my medication and that was it. I thought about it and I decided that me being in my right mind and being able to enjoy Ryder was more important than him having breast milk. I, either way, what your choice is your choice, either way I think they're both fine. Yes, breast is best, but not in all circumstances. Not in mine. Um, it's just not... It wouldn't be have been good. Um, so yeah, um, I just I hate how mothers are towards each other. I know from personal experience, I have cried myself to sleep 
honestly. After reading some things mothers say about you being a bad mom because you formula feed and you're depriving your child and this and that, and it hurts. Like, it really hurts because honestly, I'm not doing it because I'm lazy. I want to breastfeed. It was just a better decision to not. I mean, I really can't say I can't breastfeed because I can, or I, I don't really know, I never did. But it just, it really hurts when people say stuff like that. So, spanking. Ryder is only three months old, so I really haven't fully thought about it. I honestly cannot tell you if I was ever spanked or not. I think I was, but I don't remember it. I mean, I'm fine. My parents love me. Um, I want to try my hardest not to spank, definitely. I mean, it's not going to be my first decision, like my first choice if he is being bad or anything like that. Um, I don't know. I I have to think about it. I mean, I have a couple years before I would ever have to spank. Co-sleeping. A lot of people get co-sleeping mixed up. Co-sleeping is not sharing a bed. That is bed sharing. Co-sleeping is sleeping in the same room or within, ar within arm's reach of your child. And I sleep within arm's reach of my child. Some nights. It all depends with with how he is. We're having a lot of issues sleeping right now. I'm also going to do a video on that later. Um, so, yes, I co-sleep. I'm all for co-sleeping and I'm all for bed sharing. I mean, I don't really bed share. I do sometimes. I try not to because I don't want to get in that habit. Um, but, yeah. Home versus private versus public versus charter. I was public schooled my whole life. Ryder is going to be public schooled. That's just it. I don't... People say, oh, well, you know, private school is better because there's bullying and, you know, peer pressure and drugs in public schools. And I'm sorry to burst your little bubbles, but that happens everywhere. That happens in charter, in public, and even in homeschooling. Vaccinations. He is vaccinated. Um... I was vaccinated, I didn't, I mean, I don't really see anything wrong with vaccinations. So he's vaccinated. Medicating children. I have been medicated since I was in third grade. My father is against it, he doesn't like it. My mother is for it. Honestly, I would not have graduated high school when I did, or would have dropped out if I was not medicated. I have very, very bad ADD, and I just, I needed it. Honestly, like, Tyler's against medication. He says, I don't need it. I know I need it. I'm two totally different people when I'm medicated when I'm not. Yes, people say, oh, well, then you're not yourself when you're medicated. No, I am a better person when I'm medicated. I, I don't know. I, I really honestly would not have graduated high school. I probably would have dropped out if my parents would have let me because I would have just stayed back so many times if I wasn't medicated. Um, cloth versus disposable, I really don't care. I disposable diaper, yes. They're bad for the environment, and you could say I'm lazy, I guess. Um, I just, I don't know. I'd have to look more into it for my next child, I guess. Um, the cried out method. I am somewhat for and somewhat against the cried out method. Depending on the age, I think... Four to six months is an okay time to start the cried out method, but not ridiculous. Like, I would not let him cry for over three hours. I would let him cry for like a half an hour. I'd go in, let him know I'm there, this and that. Um, I don't know. Again, something I will look further into. It all depends, especially with their sleeping issues right now. But I guess that is all. Um, I'm going to do... A video about sleeping, our sleeping issues, a video about breastfeeding versus formula feeding, and some other ones. So, follow the Facebook, follow the Instagram, follow my blog, this and that. <laughs> um, and I will have another video up soon. Alright, bye. 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 No, say bye. Bye. Ah. Ah. Oh, he doesn't want to say bye. <laughs> bye.